In this video, we're going to go through the basic setup to getting QuickBooks working with My Quick Cloud. So first, open up QuickBooks as you usually would, and log into your company file. As you can see here, ours is called Rock Construction. So we're just going to open that up now. Wait for it to load. OK, so now we want to find out where this file is located. So we're going to press F2 on our keyboard. And you can see here that this is saved in C, Users, Support, Documents. Support is my uh, username. Uh, which means that it's in my personal documents, which your My Quick Cloud users can't access. So first, we're going to need to save this company file as a backup. So we go File and Create Local Backup. Let's click Next, click Next again. And we're going to save it to our desktop uh, and give it a nice obvious name, uh, Company File Backup. Hit Save. OK. So QuickBooks is now saving our company file as a backup, as a single file. So it's collecting all that information and putting it into one file, uh, which you can then copy and paste and move around nice and easily. So it can take a little while, as uh, it clearly is here. It's just checking your database. So what it does before, it will actually create the file. It will just say, OK, is, is everything OK? Is it, is it as expected? Uh, so it's just verifying that data now. OK, so now it's backing up, backing up the data, creating that file on our desktop folder. And there we go. It's saying, yep, yeah, that's all ready to go. Uh, you've created a backup. So now what we're going to do is just close this company file, the one that's in my documents. I'm going to restore that old file in a new location. So what we do is we go to open or restore an existing company and then restore a backup copy, local backup, and then we find that file we just saved, company file backup, click open, click next, and then we need to choose where to save it. So it's important um, to just remember this kind of location uh, is really useful. So it's uh, in your C drive, users, public, uh, public documents, Intuit, QuickBooks, and finally company files. So we're going to say, OK, save our company file here. And we're going to call it Rock Construction. And it's going to sort of unzip that backup and and create the uh, the full file and all the other bits and pieces and the folders and so that's now opening up the exact same company file that was in my documents. It's now in my uh, public user folder, and we can check that by pressing F two. So press F two, and we can see here it says C users public documents. So we know because it says public that that is accessible to any of the users on this computer, which will include your My Quick Cloud users. So let's just close that company now. And we want to make sure that everyone works off the same file. So when I come back and I log in to my host physically or otherwise, I just want to make sure that this list, I don't get confused. You can see here you've got my old one, which is C users support in my documents folder. And then you've got C users public documents. So it's the public one we want. So what we're going to do is just click edit list. And then here you can just tick there in the blank space where it says hide. And you can check if you just hover over, we've got public and we've got support. So we've ticked it, clicked hide. So now we can see it's just C users public documents. And that's it. Uh, so the next step will be to turn on multi-user hosting. But if you have any questions on that first step, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us at support at myquickcloud.com or simply open a live chat from our website.